Roman Throne to the rescue. Interesting. Very interesting. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that villain J. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Uh, we are running some some nonsensical jank here, man. I wanted to do something. A couple of people in the chat suggested, oh, maybe try this or try that. We're gonna pray, man. Um, we haven't done a cleric deck in a while. I think probably since Church of the Toxic, we haven't done one, which is a very popular deck. But I'm not gonna do that again. We're gonna try hitting uh, the Roman Throne again here in Mythic. And we're going to try hitting Cleric's Tribal. There's a lot of effects of Clerics, especially Vampires. We have a decent amount of Vampire Clerics in this one as well. Um, and they all have effects, and I think it would be funny if all the effects went off a million, million times in a row, which is pretty cool, all said and done. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Orzov, Clerics, this is the way I pray. Uh, let's do it. Before we get down to the Shakedown Breakdown, before we show you how this does, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tender. Press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, well, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get attacked by the like and subscribe. It's it's just going to happen. He's going to rip you up real bad for not liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, so you got to do that. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live streaming goodness. Uh, if you want to join us on Twitch or just hit the bell on YouTube and we'll go live on YouTube as well. You can watch us there. And you won't miss a stream there. You can check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information. We'd love to have you on our Discord, post decks, ask questions, all the stuff there. And, of course, this deck and all the other decks that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So uh, if you want a copy of this one and you want to join, uh, just see everything else that I built, check out the Aether So what are we talking about with this Prey deck? Well, we need to run Protection. Uh, that's probably going to be our first step is just we have a couple Lorne's Escape for Scry, Hexproof, and Indestructible. A lot of people are running Targeted Spot Removal. A lot of people are running Targeted uh, Exile or Board Wipes or something like that. We're going to try to keep some of our stuff in the game. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Lunark Veteran. Yes. Okay, so again, like I said, the end of the day, we're kind of trying to hit the Roaming Throne classic on the... Um, uh, on, on the cleric effects here. Lunark Veteran is obviously going to be a great one because when one uh, when something enters the battlefield, we gain one life, and then a Luminous Phantom, we can cast it from the graveyard disturbed, and then when something dies, we gain one life as well. So you have a life gain in two different directions uh, out of it, and the more you can trigger this off, the more life you can gain. I've hit 50, 60 life with this deck. I've hit pretty big uh, using multiple hits and multiple creatures going off right here, which gives you a lot of staying power, especially if somebody's trying to mono red you out or just wear you down. It's very useful. Now, to the removal package. Destroy Evil, Fateful Absence, uh, I think splitting it up, and then of course Bitter Triumph. Part of the reason I like Bitter Triumph with this, like I said, we have a lot of life as a resource, so being able to target a Planeswalker specifically uh, by paying three life and doing Bitter Triumph, that is perfectly fine with me. I'm happy to do that. Um, or we can discard a card naturally, but destroy evil is going to go after those annoying enchantments, which is very, very tiresome to deal with those all the time. And of course, fateful absence is just direct removal to planeswalker. They do get a clue token off that, uh, which is, you know, good and bad. You're saying, Jay, where's get lost guys. I'm kind of off get lost to be honest with you, man. I have seen these, uh, maps go bad a couple of times. If you really want to do it, man, you know, uh, that's perfectly fine if you're super super in to get lost and you think it's fantastic just because it has that flexibility Good, but I've had those maps uh, backfire on me so much that I don't think that I want to do that too much anymore I I'm kind of off of it. Hey, maybe you've had a different experience. Tell me if you've had a different experience with it uh, Sure go for the throne infernal grass cut down all those are perfectly fine as well um, Return triumphant everything that we have is going to be three or less so I wanted something that could bring back. Um, we also could have uh, Not Dead Yet, uh, the black version, but Return Triumph is not bad because it returns a creature card to mana value three or less. You get a young hero token roll on it, which is whenever this creature attacks, but uh, with toughness three or less, generally we have three or less. We get a put one one counter on it, which is pretty cool. So bringing back any creature card 
except for Roaming Throne that died, uh, is pretty good. That's pretty good all around. If anything that we get in there that we can bring back is going to be solid all around. So that's why we're doing Return Triumphant. Now, Voice of the Blessed. Okay, we can stack up these things. You'll see in a game. If you're going to watch uh, some of the games, you're going to see this ability. Lunark Veteran triggers once, it'll trigger twice, and then each one time that it triggers, that causes that to trigger twice. So you're getting multiple effects off with you have the Roaming Throne uh, thing here. So one life gets plus one, plus one. Uh, whenever you gain life, is it at four more? It becomes a 6-6. Six, six. It'll be a 6-6 six, six Flying at Vigilance. And if it's 10 or more Connors, it'll be a 12-12 and has Indestructible. So again, the Cascade effect is if something enters the battlefield with Roaming Throne, this triggers twice. You gain two life. Each time you gain a life, this triggers. When I, each time it, something triggers, it triggers twice. So you've done four. So you've turned one life into four using these Cascading kind of janky combo effects here. Um, and there's more and more of them that we're going to show you to get this thing. I've gotten this thing to like a 20, 20, 24, 24, really, really busted and broken high up there, uh, which is very, very cool stuff, especially when it becomes indestructible. It's very hard to get rid of. Bitter Triumph we already talked about. If we're talking about cleric support here, we got to talk about Shadow Rite Priest, one black and one other clerics you control get plus one, plus one. That's really the only reason that they're in there. I like, um, I just like to pump up all my clerics in general make them a little stronger and just push them in a, a little nicer there right there sacrificing a cleric search your library for black creature and put that creature on the battlefield we don't really need that um i've rarely ever used it the only time that i've used this specifically um is like if i sacrifice like a lunark veteran because i know i can play him as a luminous phantom or i have a luminous phantom in play and i want to ping that one life game because something died specifically uh, that's not a bad idea to do, but it's not super necessary. It's secondary to everything else we're doing. It is nice to have a sacrifice outlet built in. Uh, Ellis Ilkor, very useful right here. This is a Phyrexian Core Cleric, Orzhov. Uh, probably going to be the face of the deck. One black and one Ellis Ilkor, Sadistic Pilgrim. Legendary creature, Phyrexian Core Cleric, Death Touch. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. So very useful, kind of like Lunar Veteran. And again, we'll have a lovely cascading effect on all the other life gains that we're going to put down into the battlefield. Then on the back end here, uh, we have whenever a creature dies, each opponent loses one life. Now, again, if we get to that to trigger multiple times, we could kill someone on the swing in. Basically meaning that if enough of our creatures die when we swing in, we have five creatures die, they lose 10 life. That is pretty aggressive, so um, that is pretty cool. Really liking Ellis Ilkor. Maybe you want to put four of her. I'm doing three just because she kept popping up all the time, and I don't like to overload on the legends, but she is a very cool card. Um, really, really solid stuff right there. And again, we want to multiply these triggers multiple times. Anointed Peacekeeper. A, a wee bit of touch of control right here with this 3-3 Human Cleric Vigilance. And again, another reason we chose this, we get to hit that trigger twice and lock out two different cards. So one white and two. Anointed Peacekeeper enters the battlefield. Look at the opponent's hand, then choose a card name. Spells your opponent cast with the chosen name cost two more to cast. Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name cost two more to activate unless they're mana abilities. So activated abilities cost two more, and then they can't cast two more. I love finding a Sunfall, a uh, Wandering Emperor, something like that, that they're really excited about playing turn four, turn five, and just locking it out for a few turns. That usually gives us the breathing room that we need to kind of get our damage in and to get our combos off and hit the wins. Little drink of water right there. Sanguine Evangelist. Here's our two vampires right here and Preacher of the Schism. Sanguine Evangelist, one white and two. Uh, vampire Cleric. Love vampires. And I love her costume. Gold, black, and white. Just beautiful. Um, battle Cry. Vampire Cleric. One white and two. Whenever it enters the battlefield or dies, create one, uh, create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token with flying. Love it. Um, why do I love this so much? Because you're getting two creatures for three mana. Guess what? Lunark Veteran and Ellis Ilkor will trigger twice. Two creatures. Each time you get a creature in the battlefield, one life. Each time you get one life, it goes up even more. Um... Yeah, so you can see that. And again, if we hit multiples, if we hit this trigger twice, we're going to get two bats. Two bats, meaning three creatures, two bats and a vampire, three creatures all together. That's three life pings. Three life pings is six life pings. Six life pings is plus 12, plus 12 on top of a Voice of the Blessed. So with the right combo plays, this is why I call it a janky combo deck. With the right combo plays, one Sanguine Evangelist with a Lunark Veteran and a Ellis Ilkor on the board you're getting plus 12, plus 12 on Voice of the Blessed from Roaming Throne. And that's just from one Roaming Throne. So a lot of utility 
swinging it around like it, it, it just starts cascading a crazy crazy different way right there so that's really fun uh preacher this gives one black and two uh vampire cleric naturally we have a cleric right there death touch great card here i really wanted to use this card again and i think i will in the future uh, when a preacher of the schism attacks, the player with most life or tied for the most life creates a 1-1 vampire uh, token. I'd love to trigger that twice, of course, as you may or may not know, I'd love to do it twice. Um, and again, when a creature enters the battlefield, we get the ping, we get the plus one. We get that 1-1 vampire token with lifelink. And then and when he attacks, when you have the most life or are tied for the most life, um, you draw a card and you lose one life. Two card draws, especially on that losing life, is not bad. We have the most life. Losing life is not a big deal, especially to get those extra cards. Speaking of card draw, very good card for Spe uh, Preacher of the Schism right there. Death Touch, too. We have a decent amount of Death Touch in this. Markov Purifier, Lifelink. Uh, three drop Lifelink, uncommon. Awesome. Look at the drip on this, dude. Look at this thing, man. All these black robes. The vampires are always dripped out, man. You got to, you got to respect that, man. Um, one black, one white, and one three, uh, two three lifelink. Great way to, great early blocker, uh, great middle range blocker. And then of course, at the beginning of your end step, if you gained life this turn, any life at all, you pay two and get to draw a card. So pretty good access to card draw on top of that from the Markov Purifier right there. And of course, the big boy for Roaming Thrones, which is the best tribal support that you can ever hope for. Four, 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 a, um, a ward of two. Uh, enter, choose a creature type when it enters the battlefield. We're going to choose cleric. Every single one of our guys is a cleric. Um, and then it's chosen type in addition to the other types. If a triggered ability of that, uh, of a creature, you, of another creature you control of the chosen type triggers, it triggers an additional time. Each one of these will trigger an additional time. We want to hit this on turn four, uh, and then just start the crazy, crazy combos with the voice of the blessed, all of these different things. Alice Ilkor. All of them, they can just get out of control really quickly. Things just go wild from there with all the different multiple triggered abilities that you can stack one on top of the other. Very, very fun, very janky. It does get wins in, um, it does absolutely get wins in Mythic. Um, I wouldn't say it's an S plus deck, it's certainly an A deck, because uh, it does win in Mythic, but I mean, if you're getting Sunfalled over and over and over again, it's, it's, it's not gonna work great. Very, very heavily reliable on creature triggers and stuff like that as tribal decks are. Eight planes, four swamps, Three Cavern of Souls, Caves of Coilos, Restless Fortress, Shattered Sanctum. I did have some Murex in here earlier. Uh, I, I thought that was a good idea, but it was kind of acting up for me. I don't know why it wasn't. So you might see a game or two with a Murex in. I was having, the biggest problem I had with this was the mana base. I kept flooding. I kept droughting. Maybe you'll have more, um, maybe you'll have more luck than me. Right here is Prey. We're going to have our Veto Avatar right here. 28 creatures, 25 of them clerics. The three that aren't clerics are going to be the Roaming Throne, which Roaming Throne is going to, in fact, be a cleric. So it is entirely clerics. Eight instants, two sorcery, three artifacts, 22 lands altogether. Yes, I love that. Um, uh, I love that ability right there. It, it, you're saying that's kind of expensive. That's kind of cheap for that. We were flooding like the Nile Delta. Maybe you want to go 23 lands for 23. You sure can. I just kept flying, so I ran it at a 22. So I wouldn't mind if you threw one more in there, if you wanted to throw one more Cabin or Souls in the back end. Uh, I'm not going to be mad at you. Cancel that. Let's look at the sideways view. Boom. Boom. Uh, again, just alternate forms of removal and maybe a Murex on you for the back end right there. One, two, and three, and four. Pretty aggressive. Um, pretty, pretty aggressive right here. Uh, it's cheap. It's low to the ground, and it has a lot of fun cascading effects. Um fun deck fun deck you don't often see cleric tribals they used to be a lot more powerful back in the angel days i think in kaldheim and stuff like that if you ever played those back in Helheim, angel clerics and all that stuff veto and all those ones it harkens back to that kind of deck which i really really like uh from back in the day so it's a fun one give it a shot uh we're gonna run it into mythic here and we're gonna play our games and uh, we're gonna have a good time so uh tell me what you think leave a comment and um make sure you like the video Oh, this is an interesting one that I built, too. I don't, I don't know why he's cute right here, but here we go. Let's go, boys. All right, let's see if it happens.
MTG, love it or hate it, you're in between. I've just been having, I've been having a terrible time. I had a couple really successful decks and then the rest have just been crapping out on me. Now we just got a guy who's in, who's AFK. Okay, let's do cavernous souls, clerics. Hey, what's up, uh, Tracks? Oh, excellent, Tracks. That's awesome. Good to hear. Oh. Now, why would it do that? Why would you do that, game? Oh, man. That's a terrible priority grab there. Oh, shit, dude. That was a fuck. That was a fuck ass priority grab there. Oh, that fucking terrible man. I guess it prioritizes doing cavern, but if they don't have any blue on the board, I guess it, I should. It's my bad. I should know. I should know. I should know. I shouldn't do that. Oof. Buff. Hey, what's up? I'm faster than you. Welcome to the show. Make sure you like. Still flooding. Still flooding. So we've drawn 7 mana out of 12. So this deck is just cursed, unfortunately. That's just the long and short of it. It's just a cursed deck. There's nothing we can do about it. We gotta abandon it. through he's might play storm the seed core or something like that
Um, let's do this. Let's put down Breach of the Schism. Get another one of those. Down a brawler, not bad. In line, in line. this you know against that Selesnia deck that I'm playing. Do 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 Turn. So he's got a problem here that he might kill himself by just attacking me. I don't think that he knows that though. So, we block that, we block that, we block that, uh, we block that, and we block that, we let the 17 go through. Yeah, he had another one, but I think he's gonna, a lot of shit's gonna happen here. Roman Throne to the rescue. Interesting. Very interesting. Still flooding, by the way. X River, you like that? X River like that one. Fabricate. Let's keep going though. We're on a run here. Let's do it. Herman set. Turn triumphant. Talia, Talia Garden. Robin. Pulsating Robin. Claire. Oh. 
pulsating and throbbing. Okay. Go to Peacekeeper. Either way, we can get something out here. Either Markov Purifier is coming out or Schism coming out. No, something's coming out. There's a three drop for your pleasure. Herman, Hermes Net. Markov Purifier, you don't want to. Okay. I'm going to swing in. Oof, I'll take two. Put down Caves of Poilos. Oof, buff, no attacks. Duelist, okay. That's the do duelist again. Very nice. Push. Oh, someone's gonna be a sad boy when this shit happens. I'm a lonely boy. I'm a lonely boy. Oh, 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 oh. I got a love that keeps me waiting. Oh, 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 oh. I got a love that keeps me waiting. I'm a lonely boy. I'm a lonely boy. Oh, 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 oh. I got a love that keeps me waiting. You guys like the black keys? Whatever happened to them? They were so popular. I love them. They were so popular. I'm going to... Fuck it, we ball. Oh, shit. There we go. That's gonna be zealot. I thought he might have some sort of pump up there. Um... But it does let me do this. Boom. Pop. Well, if that's a board wipe, I'm gonna be real mad. Okay. Oh, you like the black keys? Oh, fantastic, man. I'm glad somebody else likes them. Gold on the ceiling, Lonely Boy, they were all fantastic. And he's out of there. Hermes Net lost it. Nice. I had a couple other good songs, but those are the only two I can think of at the top of my head that I like. Guys, what's your favorite moments? What was your favorite thing about Magic this year? We're almost we're two days from the end of the season, from the from the year here. What was your personal to write in the chat if you're in YouTube, if you're in Twitch, tell me what was your favorite magic moment? Magic moment. Mulligan this. Oh, wow, that's bad. I'll fucking, I'll try it, who cares? Wow, I actually did it. Internet on the fritz, have to rewatch the stream. Keep it open. 
we gonna cut down here? Sticking non-standard legal cards in golden packs. That's a cool thing to do. If you don't like that, well then you're not a cool guy. Boof, 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 trigger, trigger, let's push. My favorite thing was was is they put let they put non-standard? I thought it was only standard in golden packs. I never saw that. Breaking the shit out of Radadrabic. Was that your number one card of Yeah, that was Radadrabic was your thing, man, yeah. I think it was your number one, your number one card, wasn't it? And, and sacrifice, look at that. Great bat token. Lord of the Rings was your favorite thing? Oddly enough, you'll have to find out to see what was my favorite set. Oops, yeah, that was a big oops there, man. Do Preacher of the Schism. Oh, putting Lord of the Rings in golden packs. Oh. I was okay with that. It's alchemy legal. Thing was when Wizard of the Coast said historic format where you could play all the cards on Arena and instead of backtracking and making timeless instead. That's pretty funny. Okay, so he can put one of these on the board. He's probably better off putting Sanguine Evangelist. Hey, what's up, nukes? Yes, a gunslayer. He's a gunslayer.
Hopefully he'll just give up after this. This is gonna trigger so many different times. Trigger. That's a 43. You can put somebody on the board. You can put Schism on the board. Okay. Alright. I hear the last gift. Ooh, nice. Too bad I didn't have a, um... Ellis Ilkor, that would have killed him. I think we lost this one, guys. <clears throat> Unless we get a removal. We need just a rack of removal here. Well, he had the board wipe. In. Shale Dread. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just lost this one. Go for the throat. Create two. Okay. Yeah, that really fucked me up. Brutal eight drop right there. There's no coming back from it. Even with the life that we have, we, we just have no way of resurrecting that much shit, man. Good game, though. I mean, he just had a... I was worried about a massive board wipe. And he had one drop, and I just never drew a removal to pop that last guy out, unfortunately. Down to two. Any other card, basically a removal, the um, the throne... Not the roaming throne, but the... Uh, the cottage to ping somebody out, that would have worked. Any one of those would have worked. Um, I think a lot of people got what they wanted out of Ixalan, man. A lot of people got what they wanted out of Ixalan. Let's drop that. Boom. Crazen. Monastery Swift Spear, run it down, boom, mark up your fire, drop, no attacks, and turn. Okay. Monastery Swift Spear, Phoenix Jiki Jiki Jiki. Three damage is not that bad. Uh, drop that. Do Schism. A little trickier to deal with. Attacks. Three drops. He's gonna go, oh, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm gonna attack for for three and I uh, don't have anything. I'll open mana. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's kind of surprising. Next turn, I can play Markov Purifier and Return Triumphant, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, there's Godric. Godric Griffin. Oh, I don't know why you do that, dude.
schism. Put on the uh, put on the Ritz here. And we can celebrate with him, but he can't bash through. I mean, he could play a he could play a trampler or something like that. Just a really cool cranberry raisin. Yes, he is. He is a craisin. He is craisin that raisin. Not a bad win there. Pretty good. Pretty fun. Invasion of New Capenna. It's a shame that that didn't work better. Holy Frazzle Can is a cool weapon, but um, it's too tricky. I, I feel like the 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 siege counters like the payoff is not really worth it especially in standard like to to flip a battle is just um terrible Phil O'Devin did it in the third path one or two costs without playing its mana mill 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 all right rezo he's doing rezo both mill 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 he's trying to run rezo Exile, instant or sorcery, and pay it. Hmm. Boof, boof. Okay, collector's vault. He's ramping. Quite possibly even glamping. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm. 
Boom. Boof, boof, boof. All right, here's his big hit. Either he does the, he's the, gonna do the big hit or we're done. I have not really. Uh, I, I, there's some. I would say mono blue has gone down. Mono blue is not as effective, but there's still plenty of control decks. There's still plenty of Esper. Uh, I think it hurt blue more than anything. <clears throat> yeah, it hurt. It hurt mono blue more than anything. Then specifically control. Which is not to say a bad thing. I don't want to discount that. The mono blue shit decks, they're, they're much less effective. Especially against dinosaurs. If you have a go wide against dinosaurs, blue has no way of dealing with creatures other than knocking back and counterspelling. And there's only so many knockbacks you're going to go in locked with. So their best way of dealing with creature decks is counterspelling them, is just prevention. Um, and if you have a pretty nice go wide, they're just not going to have the muscle. You're just going to outmuscle them really hard. So, yeah. I don't really like this opener, but I'm going to go for it. Interesting. Direct removal, naturally. We're playing clerics. What's up, Dark Templar? Hey, Dark Templar, did you know that you're a subscriber to my channel now? You're a channel member. He's going to play direct removal on it. Didn't even think you knew that. Probably didn't even know. You see that little skull by your name? I think somebody gifted you a... Gifted you a fucking... Uh, a whatchamacallit. No more direct removal, okay. Direct removal, here it goes. There it is. I, I really, I, listen, I'm a fan of removal as much as anybody, but holy shit, man, this is this getting tedious. It is getting fucking tedious. It is really getting tedious. It can't even do anything. All he does is play kill cards. Does he play one on the Ellis Ilkor? Yeah, he sure is. He sure is. One, two, three, four, four. Four kills. I'm in a creature based deck and I'm just getting fucking butchered. There we go. There we go. What is he running? What's the goal here? Just kill everything? Six kills. Chandra Hope's Beacon. Do it. Yeah, we had a couple people, uh, you get special bonuses. I'm gonna start doing, we had an influx of channel members. Probably another wipe. No, is it Chandra Hope's Beacon right there? Uh, there's gonna be some special stuff. Has, has Caverns caused an uptick in removal? I think it might have had the reverse effect of having an uptick in, um, Esper. Because you need other things. Eight kills. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. Look at this deck, man. Look at this fucking dude, man. Big score. 
He had another kill card in his hand. He's got two treasure. Graveyard Trespasser. Let's see what you got in that pretty little hand of yours, man. Doesn't matter, he's just gonna play fucking Brotherhood's End. Oh, he's gonna play a Tali. Mana draw. Now I'm overdrawing. No, I'm not really overdrawing. I, um... He just had 80 bajillion kills. I, I've run into... I'm running a creature-based deck, and all I've run into is fucking flat fucking murderers. Just people just running. Hey, what's up, cookies? Just absolute fucking straight-up, un unashamed, no-holds-bars killers. That's all I've been running into. I ain't running into control shit. One mono red. That's it. Um, shattered. Man, I got. I think I got to remove these slow lands, bro. I've been stymied by these a couple of times. Hey, what's up, the Wiz? Hey, hit platinum today. Took concepts from a mono black deck. Thank you so much, man. That's what I hit mythic with. Was the mono black? We got to thank part. Uh, we got to thank Park. Uh... Nonstop control, nonstop red, pathetic. <laughs> hey, we got a fellow. We have a fellow in control enjoyer here. Let's see if this gets counterspelled. Probably will. The current meta is, yeah, four or five bombs, 20, 26 lands, and fill the rest with board wipes and kill cards. Yes, that is what it is. That is accurate. Another counterspell right here. I'm telling you, we're just getting controlled out today, man. We're just, um... Thanks so much, Frostbite. I'm glad that you, you're you uh, you're playing uh, thanks to me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Demolition Field. Sacrifice. Let's push. Oof. Chris Matissis, thank you. Welcome. Cavern Caves of Coilos, take action. Find a white mana. Boom. Well, if we ever get it out, we're having really bad mana problems. No matter what we do, the, the mana just doesn't ever hit. Uh, depopulate? No. Okay. We we this the mana for whatever reason in this deck has just never clicked. And who who wants to guess? Who wants to bet against um, Emperor? Nah, see, he thought I was going to Emperor there. He thought he was going to Emperor there. Memory Deluge. I guarantee he has a fucking Emperor and he's waiting for me to swing in. I really need more protection, honestly. I think we might need to invest in that. He's still got the Emperor. Let's find it. No? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we hit the jackpot, though. We hit the motherfucking jackpot. Yeah, we hit the jackpot there. I'll drop back. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, locked out the sunfall. Yeah, bro. If you can't play one card and your and your and your fucking deck collapses because you can't play one card, your deck fucking sucks, bro. Your deck sucks, bar none. If I stop you from playing one fucking card in your whole deck, it blows, dude. It fucking blows. Bar it period end of story. If I lock out one fucking card and you collapse, the, the thing went no good to begin with, bro. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there for tonight. Clerics, works in Mythic. Uh, if you're not getting Sunfalled 50 times in a row, it does work. Uh, and it's pretty fun. It's pretty janky. It's more of a fun deck. Uh, I mean, I do win in Mythic with it. It has scored wins, but uh, is it is it S-tier? No, it's A-tier Mythic, not S-tier Mythic. And with, with the amount of removal that's out there right now, a little tricky to get off, but certainly a lot of fun. Um, I've been Jay Villain. Uh, you've been great. Hope you like this one. The stream is not over. Okay. Especially you, Spawnage. The video is over. Goodbye from the video. I'll see you in the next one.